Oh yeah. Just gonna get ready and train for the IPL Bench Press Championships next year. I gotta get my, gotta get my, gotta get my, uh, gotta get my, Arc ready. What's that? They changed the rule. You can't arch? Ah, son of a. Welcome back to the channel and oh boy. Some big news, the International Powerlifting Federation, the IPF, has changed bench rules uh, starting 2023. So if you've been following powerlifting for a while, uh, there's been talks about uh, the IPF, other, other USPA, USA Powerlifting, all these different federations and associations looking at changing the bench rolls uh, because people are, are getting this huge, huge arch uh, and making everybody mad. So uh, in 2022 at the IPF World Bench Championships, there were a few folks that had massive arches uh, and I mean massive. There's one lifter in particular, you can look it up. The bar had to, had to move about that much range of motion and set some big, big numbers. A lot of people complained, and lo and behold, uh, the rule change is out. This is big news. Uh, so essentially what the rule says now is that the elbow has to be, uh, the elbow joint has to come lower or equal to the shoulder joint. So if you have a big arch and you're above that, your elbow's above that, that shoulder joint, it's not a good lift. So it's got to be level or below the shoulder joint. I was curious as to how they were going to change it. Uh, it. It's strictly, the rule is strictly to get rid of the big arch. That's the way they decided to go with it. If you look at, and I'll show you in a second some pictures, there's still some ways to do somewhat of an arch and, and still skim by those rules. And they actually show a picture there. But anyway, that's the new big rule. I've been looking all over on the internet the last couple of days because I'm curious uh, how I, I was curious how people were going to respond. And there's really two different camps. One camp that says the rule change was good. I'm hearing a lot of arguments that it was cheating before um, and that it looks ridiculous. So let's talk about that. Was it cheating? No, it wasn't cheating. Having that big arch was not cheating. That's why they had to change the rule. So it wasn't cheating. It might have been a loophole in the rules, but it definitely wasn't cheating. So that, that, that argument uh, is not a very good one. Does it look ridiculous? Okay, I'll be honest. When you see a massive arch and a guy or a gal bench press a lot of weight when they only have to move the bar like an inch or two, that looks pretty ridiculous. Um, it just does. I'm just, in my honest opinion, it looks different. It looks ridiculous. And as somebody that competes in powerlifting, I have friends that don't compete in powerlifting that see those videos and then they come to me and go, oh, this is what you do. This is your sport. You just arch like that. So it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to justify in a strength sport uh, that arch. Doesn't mean I'm for the change or against the change. I'm just telling you that argument that it looks ridiculous, I think is a pretty valid argument. It's still difficult to do. I'm not taking anything away from the lifter, but it, it does look ridiculous. The people that are, are mad that the change was made, I'm hearing a couple arguments. One, well, if you're gonna make the change, you gotta get sumo out of the dead. You can't have sumo lifters because they're, they're decreasing the range of motion. So that's a big argument I'm hearing. I, I think it's a mistake to put in the sumo argument with this bench press argument. I think the sumo or conventional dead argument 
and the bench press argument, I think it's really apples to oranges. I do understand that we're talking about range of motion and people that don't like sumo thinks the range of motion is not enough. It's, but I think, you know, that's a whole separate argument. And when you start bringing in sumo into this bench argument, all you're doing is muddy in the waters. Let's focus on making the bench the best event we can. And then separately, let's focus on sumo deadlift versus conventional deadlift and what the rules should be. Uh, I don't like mixing it into this argument. Uh, I do understand that argument, the folks that have that, but I think, you know, instead of pointing to sumo, make arguments specific to the bench press about why you don't think the rule should have been changed. Uh, other people will say, um, I've, I've watched a, a couple different uh, podcasts or I've listened to a couple different podcasts and watched a few YouTube videos. And, and some of the folks basically said, you know, it, it, this rule change isn't going to help, help the sport. I don't know if it will or not. Um, I don't know. Do I think it was a good rule change? I'll be honest. It doesn't impact me. I don't arch much when I bench. I mean, I arch just enough to get tight. I have no mobility. I'm not flexible at all. I certainly couldn't arch to even try to break the rules if I wanted to. So it's not going to impact me. So that's number one. Number two, you know, I bench press. I've benched 325 in competition. I've done a 365 touch and go. I don't have a big enough bench press that that um, it's going to impact me. You know, I'm not one of the strong, these strong 500, 600, 700 pound raw benchers. I'm just not. I'm, I'm happy uh, if I can get, you know, when I hit 400, I'll be really happy. And I'm not even there. So it doesn't really impact me. But let's look at the actual rule change and some pictures. Okay, so here's a not good lift that the IPL released. Uh, if you'll notice the top of the shoulder joint and the elbow joint, if the elbow joint is above that shoulder joint, it's not going to be a good lift. Uh, so this is pretty obviously the elbows are above that shoulder joint. So when that happens, you're not gonna get credit. So that guy's arching and that's the reason for that. Here's a good lift. Uh, you can see that the elbow joints are lower than the shoulder joints. And again, they don't even have to be lower. They just have to be equal to or lower. Uh, I think most people um, are going to be okay and look a lot like this guy. This picture, though, is interesting because this guy does look like he's arching or this person. And you'll notice that even with that arch, the elbow joints are equal to the shoulder joints. Uh, and so... This is a good lift. So they added this. I think that's interesting because remember, both elbow joints level or below the top surf surface of each respective shoulder joint. And so it's a good lift. So there you have it. The bench press rules have changed, at least in the International Powerlifting Federation, the IPL. How will that impact other organizations yet to come? Do you agree with it or not agree with it? Put that in the comments below. Until next time, adios.